Hey guys. Um, it is Sunday. It's currently like 2 o'clock. I'm low-key in like the biggest funk today. I don't know why. I just woke up like, I don't know, in like an unmotivated, like, sad mood. And I kind of went to bed in like a tired, sad, grumpy mood. So I guess that like makes sense that I woke up like that. But like usually I go to bed and I like wake up like a new person. So I was like, the fuck am I sad for? Um, but I think it's just like dealing with long distance. It's like my body's confused Like I don't have like that person there to like, you know, bring me like it brings me a lot of happiness that he was like around so like He's not around and you we usually like would do fun things on like, um, let's say a weekend or something And he's not here. So my body's like Just like where are you getting your happiness from right now? That sounds way deeper like I have happiness in a lot of other things. It's just the fact that like I need to like go and do those things again <laughs> Anyway, so I thought vlogging would cheer me up a little bit and make me want to go do things so I'm gonna take a shower because I know once I shower I'll feel like a little bit better I want to do my curly hair routine because when I look cute, I feel cute um Cute I need to go to the bank Maybe go to like Dunkin' or Starbucks and get myself a little drinky just because I want one and it'll make me happy. And I need to go to either like Marshall or TJ Maxx because my mom, last time she visited, she bought so many things here that she had to take home one extra suitcase. And that suitcase was mine. And I thought I was coming right back to uh, like Jersey, like New York area to see Frankie like the week after. And he ended up being able to come here for work. So I never got my suitcase back. <laughs> so I need to go buy maybe like a little carry-on or something just so that I can fit like more clothes in because I know me and my mom will end up going shopping anyway. And I'll basically buy a whole new wardrobe before that trip with her probably. That sounds so dramatic. But I need just like a little suitcase I can bring and like check as a carry-on so that like maybe I can just bring like a carry-on and then my suitcase back with me instead of like maybe I'll probably bring two carry-ons. So like fit one carry-on into my suitcase when I come back, if that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, let's get started. Shower is done, so let's do the hair now. So the only thing that's been really working on my hair, or like the main thing I guess you could say, is um, a bunch of these weed ad products. Last time I just used these two. Um, I just used this it says feather light styling cream defines curls and locks out humidity. Humidity, like literally any kind of moisture ruins my hair. So um, this works really well. And then I put the gel right over top of it and my hair is like literally sopping up. So let's go. So much hair on my hands. My hair falls out so much because I just have so much hair. Now the product all in it. Let's go in with the gel. I do this like this half and this half. I'm like almost out of this gel, so if they have more of this at TJ Maxx, I need to grab some. And then I'm gonna plop it. Okay. This is my hair plopping. In. I'm kind of switching between the Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Oil Free Gel Cream and this Glow Recipe Plump Plump Hyaluronic Cream. I'm going to do Summer Fridays today. And underneath it, I'm going to do the, their uh, CC Cream. Oh, I love this one. Anything Summer Fridays, like, I can get behind. Alright, guys. This is the outfit, except not the plopped hair, obviously. I'm gonna take this out before I get anywhere. I'm just wearing Lulu shorts and this uh, Free People top. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. And this is the best perfume I've ever had in my life. It smells literally just like an expensive, expensive like beach resort. And I don't know, I love it. It was $16 from Urban Outfitters. It's called The Beach. Literally love it. I always get compliments when I wear it too. So just letting you know. <laughs> anyway, Stanley is full. We need shoes and then we need to go. I'm leaving this. Actually, I took this off my head before I left just because I don't want to deal with it. But these are the curls right now. These are the curly girlies right now. Look at them. 
they look really good i hope they dry this nice they did last time so as long as there's not a lot of wind we'll be good <laughs> all right let's go guys it's legit 100 degrees are we kidding 100 degrees I just ordered uh, the salted caramel cold brew. It was really good last time. The only thing about last time is I got it with cream and sugar and I just should not have gotten it with cream and sugar because it's already so sweet. And like the cold foam stuff on top, like it's like kind of makes it creamy. So, oh my gosh. This, I cannot have the AC on, but it's making my curls like super dry at the ends like not how i want it but yeah more money on the app i'm really sweating I, I walked outside and it literally drenched in sweat in like the first three seconds okay we put money on there we're ready to scan my arm okay buh i'm so annoying no you guys fell all right we got the salted caramel cream cold brew but salted caramel cold brew but there is cold foam on it so like i feel like they just couldn't say cream because starbucks is cream you know i look like a fucking muscle mommy right now what the hell okay let's taste test with out the cream and sugar in it let's give it a little swirly Can't even get to the coffee. Come on. I'm eating ice. It's so much better without the cream in it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This shit is good. Uh -uh. Right, let's go. I think the first place we're gonna go is gonna be um, TJ Maxx. <laughs> Max, don't let me spend a lot of money. I only came here for a suitcase. Okay, you hear me? All right, let's go. Let's go. Malia told me to get packing cubes. I'm like, do I get some? These ones are kind of cute. Like these ones. Hold up. Okay, I was like, what? They have so many. I need like a little one though. I think. Like this size. I don't know. Oh, like this one. This is like perfect. Also, this little blue one. This one's cheaper. This one's 60. The other ones are 70. But it looks smaller too. Like, okay, there was one over here I think that I liked a lot better. Yeah, they have this one and they have this one in purple. I like this one. Or this one. I think it might be this one. Low key just hit the Wee Dad jackpot. They have all these. I have a shampoo at home and I got one of these. I'm gonna get the gel. This is $25, but it's huge. This will last me forever. And then I got um, the conditioner because I have the shampoo already. Look at how many. And they have these. I have this one. So I just came out of TJ Maxx and I did spend way too much money. I spent $200. But it was. Honestly, I think it was the Wee Dad products because they were like $25 each, but like I know that like those work, so it was worth it for me. Plus, there were huge things of the products. The music is still going. And then my suitcase I got was $70, but it's really cute. I got the orange one. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'll show you. I'll give you a little haul when I get home. Uh, my mom said she would like pay for half of it because she had my other suitcase. Um, what else? I got some loofahs, some nail things, because I want to try to do my nails. And yeah, just some other stuff that like I kind of needed. But it, I think it was really the, um, oh, I got another makeup case because I wanted this specific one for traveling. And this one looks really good for traveling. And I got those little uh, bags, packing cubes. Um, I 
I want to go to Ulta really quick because I, I don't think they have summer Fridays at Ulta but like I want to see if they do and like see if they have the lip but I also the vacation um, brand perfume I want to see if they have that there too so we're gonna go to Ulta really 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 quick we're not gonna go crazy there though because I'm not gonna go crazy there because I went crazy in um, TJ Maxx already let's go Okay, it's in the same shopping complex. Let's go. Ulta, literally right there, and then TJ Maxx is like a little bit down there, past Home Sense. Let's go. So Ulta, I spent like 50 bucks. I got a couple things. I'll show you right now because it's right here in my hands. So I really wanted to try like a brow putty gel stuff. So I got a clear one with a little spoolie girl. This was from Morphe. It was like pretty cheap. It was like maybe $15 total. Um, but I low-key want to try it right now because I'm really interested. So this is her. This is her. Now let's open both of them. I should probably read the directions. It just says Supreme Brow Sculpting and Shaping Wax. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, do I just like dip this in here? <gasps> Oh my gosh, yeah, holy shizer, that's a lot. Okay, I can probably use this for both. Oh my god, <gasps> it's so like thick. It feels weird, it feels like putty. Oh my god, I don't know if I like this. I can like see it in my eyebrows, which I don't really think I like. <gasps> I feel like I look weird. Guys, I don't know if I like this. This really sucks, let me just say. I feel like it looks so bad. You know how people do like this eyebrow look? Hold on, I'm gonna do it. When they just like stick up straight. Oh my god, I look scary. Okay, I think this is how they do it, honestly. Okay, this is literally my eyebrows if I did it the way these bitches be doing it. Ugh, I don't think I like this. Gel. Also, my eyebrows are sticking up straight. Like, that's so ugly. This looks so bad on me. I guess it's okay. Like, it, I guess it'll like keep them in place. But like, what the fuck is this? Like, this one look, he looks good. All right, this probably will take some practice. But like, honestly, I don't hate it. Kind of cute. Um, so that was the first thing I got. Then I got a sky high mascara from Maybelline. Um, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio in white. And like, it's a white eyeliner for like my inner crease. I have one, but it's really old, and I I think it gives me pink eye. So I'm gonna throw it out. The last thing I got, oh, I got the sugaring uh, putty. I have like a mustache and I wanna learn how to sugar it off. So, I got it. That's it, we're gonna go home now. Okay, wait, I just went to Publix too because I needed tampons and I, and I was really in the mood for hot Cheetos. So, your girl got tampons and <laughs> with a side of hot Cheetos. I haven't had them in so long, probably like a couple months, honestly. I feel like I only ever have them when I'm with Frankie. Cause like, I'll say, oh my God, I'm craving them. I have like, I right, just got some. Cause he likes them too. But they're so bad for you, so I try not to eat them. They're so good. I'm only gonna have a couple. Cause then my mouth is on fire too. All right, now let's go home. Okay, vloggy i'm also gonna make a tiktok um showing you everything i got at the same time so if i'm not looking at you it's gonna make you know tiktok first thing i got was a new suitcase my mom stole my suitcase okay stole i let her bring it back home last time she came because she bought too many things here and it didn't fit so i let her have my suitcase and i thought i was gonna be go back to jersey like sooner than later to go get it and i'm not so i had to buy a new one but it's little so then i can take mine back and then put this one as a carry-on some little packing cubes these come with three different ones different sizes and then i got this little makeup and like cosmetic bag because i like how it opens here so nothing spills out it gets just like stays in so i got this it was really cute this was 15 and that was 10. i love these loofahs that they have at tj maxx they feel so nice and soft and not like aggressive on your skin so i got some more because mine are like really old now and then I got a new iPhone case. This one is just orange. I really like orange for like the summer. And it matches these little impressed nails I got. They're Kiss Impress Kiss? 
yeah, the brand Kiss in pressed nails and they match. So I thought that'd be really cute for my vacation. And then I got some more toothbrushes because I hate, I always forget to pack a toothbrush when I travel. So I always end up having to buy one. So if I buy extras, I won't forget to pack it because I can put it in my bag before I want to leave, you know? And then I got some little gold hoops. I used to wear um, a little silver stud and then gold hoops and my other gold hoops broke. So I want to wear my studs again. So I got some little hoopies. Last but not least, I got a three We Dad, three, two We Dad products. We Dad has been literally doing my curls the most amazing they've ever looked. So I'm on the We Dad train right now. This is the defrizzing conditioner and it also has climate control. So like for humidity and I live in Florida, so like hella humid. And then this is the gel. I've been using this gel already and I'm all like running out. So it's a big ass thing. I think they were each like $25, but honestly, this will last me like a full year, maybe now, probably like at least six months. And this will probably last me a long time too. So totally worth it. Okay, let's put away all this stuff. I'm gonna put one of these in my shower and get rid of the old ones because I've had the other ones for like at least six months. And I think that's kind of grody, huh? Is it? I don't know. It's not like gross, I guess, because like you're just washing your body with it, but like, like it's like just plastic. But it lost its like good loving feeling. Now it just feels evil and, and painful. So those are going in the garbage. Let's open this one up. I'm gonna put the, the white one in my shower and then if Frankie comes back during the year, like if he gets them back for baseball anytime soon i'll put this one back in for him but this is mine and then i have uh so i'll put this in one of the drawers these two are not going to fit in my drawer actually this one might but this one i don't want to risk it with the little pump on it so we're gonna put them i wish i could put them like behind the Toilet, is that gross? They're huge. I can put them on. Yeah, they're on the ground behind the toilet. Oops. I don't care. It's just me. I'm not dirty. I'm a clean girl. And we have the extra toothbrushes. We gotta put those away. And then I have this cute little thing. I don't really want to go organize it right now, but I'll just put it in the bathroom to remind myself to organize it and like put all my stuff in there. These girlies are just going my, the middle draw is like the one that I keep all my extra stuff in. And like, I mean the bottom too, but the bottom has more stuff in it. This one has way less. I wanna put my new phone case on my phone. Like, ugh, the strawberries are so cute though too. Whatever, I'll probably just end up switching back and forth between these two. My mom just texted me like what I wanna do when I'm in Jersey and honestly, I can't, like, everything in me, nothing wants to go to the beach in Jersey. I don't know why. I think it's the fact that, like, I used to lifeguard there and, like, I don't want to potentially run into anybody. Which is, like, I guess kind of messed up, but, like, there's none of my, like, I feel like friends still there, really, who, like, lifeguard. I'm trying to think. I don't think any of my friends still lifeguard. My only friend who still even is at the beach, I think, is Lance. How do I open this fucking shit? Here we go. Um, and then like in Jersey, you have to pay to go to the beach. Like Florida could never, and they better not ever. Um, so I'm trying to think of like what we can do during the daytime. I told her I want to walk on the, the boardwalk in Asbury um, because there's a lot of cute little stores over there. And I just, I just like Asbury. I think the boardwalk in Asbury is really cute. And what else did I want to do? We have like dinner places we want to go. I definitely want to get coffee at um, Offshore. Be or, and Rook. Oh my God, I almost forgot about Rook. How could I? I'm sure we'll go shopping a bunch. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll just go for walks and like on the boardwalk, uh, that kind of thing. I don't know if this fits my phone. All right, I got it in. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, do I, did I really need this? No, I didn't. Like, why'd I buy it? I have been charging my phone at night on top of the little charging pad thing. 
and I think it might charge better with this, so I don't know. Okay, I think I need to eat something, and then I want to maybe go to the gym because um, I'm supposed to go to the gym today. Let's put everything away and go. So all my makeup is currently in here, this little triangle bag, which I don't mind, but like it's hard to see it. So I'm gonna move like at least like my staples into this one. I love it. So like look at everything. It's not even like close to being full, which is like perfect. I can that means I can put like face stuff, hair stuff in here on top of it and uh just close it up and bring it with me. But like look at this is it doesn't even seem small but it just does not fit what I needed to. So this can chill out. Okay. I just thought about it and I actually don't think I'm gonna go to the gym today. I think I'm gonna try and wake up early tomorrow and go because I'm trying to do my workouts in the morning so that I have the rest of the day to like work and do things I want slash need to do and like I don't have to worry about working out. And I know if I work out tonight, I'm not gonna wanna wake up tomorrow morning and work out. So Sunday will be my day of rest. I did a workout Friday and yesterday. I can't remember if I did anything Thursday, but I did uh, the last two days I was good. So I can have a rest day today. I started all this laundry yesterday, so I need to put this away. And then I put another batch in the dryer. Um, but I'm just gonna watch some YouTube and put this stuff away. I'm watching Ava Jules' vlog. Um, I put away all my laundry. This is Frankie's and I'm letting it dry <laughs> so it doesn't get all shrunken. Somehow when I like wash Frankie's clothes, a lot of the times I shrink them when I put them in the dryer and I don't really know why. My washer is different than his washer or dryer, whatever. So I hung this one to dry because it's a cute little shirt that I really like on him and I don't want to ruin it. So we're hanging that one to dry. Anyway... I, I'm gonna do some emails right now. My dad's cooking dinner. I just helped him make some pasta. That was it all, That's all I did. He's making like shrimp and lemon sauce, like a lemon cream sauce. But I wanna respond to all my emails cause I'm kind of in the mood right now to like still be productive. And so then tomorrow morning, I don't really have to focus too much on them. Like I'll obviously check them and see if I have any other emails, but I kind of have a lot right now. So we're gonna go through that and yeah. Okay, actually dad just said dinner's ready, so let's go. Let's see. Shrimpies. What? I said shrimpies. <laughs> Let's see if I like it. Let's try. Let's try the shrimps. Pretty good. Okay, it's a little later now. It's like, I want to say 9 30. Um, so I'm going to take my contacts out, take my makeup off, and get comfy because it's time for like relaxing and almost bedtime soon um but i do want to do my nails before i go to bed so i kind of want to show you guys like if they come out good or not so i'm going to take this makeup off and i'm going to wash our face um yeah PJs are on, oversized tee. These little shorts are from PacSun. Comfy AF. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, let's try out these nails. It's literally little gel strips. Okay, so this is my nails before. Let me give you guys a good little close up. There we go, focus on nails, thank you. Kind of ugly. And then they're like super bright. So hopefully they'll be cute, so. All right, I'll let you know the final thing. Okay guys, um, I finished my nails. Here they are. All right, so much better this way. Um, I feel like they look kind of good. I feel like you can't really tell from far away, especially that they're like peel on gel. They were pretty easy to do. I just don't like the fact that like you can kind of see like underneath that it's like, I don't know, if you look like this, it doesn't look the cleanest. You know when like your gel's falling off or like your acrylic's falling off? and like you're running your hands through your hair and a hair gets stuck underneath. Yeah, that already happened once. So I don't know how long these are gonna last, but I mean, if you just need gel nails for like a day, definitely good. But yeah, 
so we'll see how long they last but i'm gonna brush my teeth and get ready for bed so thank you guys for watching um i hope this like helped you cheer up your day if you're feeling down if you just had a little off day and needed to like reset and like get your mind off things i hope that uh this video helped you a little bit because making it definitely helped me i feel like so and the other thing is whenever i feel like i'm getting like that it's the fact that like i'm spending way too much time scrolling through social media like i love being able to share my life with people um, and I love creating on social media, but at the same time when I consume too much, especially like There was this weird thing last summer, too um, I feel like my hometown It's like super and It's always felt like this and then whenever I see it, I feel like um, It affects me somehow because I still feel like that way that like I never really belonged there or, like fit in or like had a group or like did all like the hometown things that like everybody from my area did like i was never really like that i feel like i don't know so anytime i see stuff like that and i see people going out and like going to the places that like i really never went too much because i had like one best friend and that's literally my sister like i love my best friend shut up i don't know it was something about scrolling on social media everybody like vacationing like my hometown and just like making it the best like looking the best ever if that makes sense um that like made me feel super weird it just brings back this weird feeling of like when i lived there and like how i felt when i lived there majority of the time so i think that's like what it was aside from the missing my boyfriend part but uh yeah you just have to throw yourself into your own life because this is you know you can only be where you, exactly where you are right now um and in the moment so that's what i try to do with today and i hope that that's a good little reminder for you guys and not to compare yourselves because comparison is the thief of joy and like i said you can only be where you are where you're meant to be so with that being said i love you guys so much thank you for watching my video and um i hope you have the best week ahead if you're watching this on a weekend uh even a monday whatever i hope you have the best day